Hey cadets, even though we're going through a tough season, the enthusiasm and innovation in the space has never disappointed us. The metaverse was the hottest buzzword last year. Since then, a lot of projects have joined the GameFi metaverse trend, including big names like Meta, which is Facebook, and Microsoft. The builders won't stop pushing the envelope and testing the space to make sure that the best products emerge out of the ashes. So today, I want to cover a visionary project called Lighthouse. Like Google Maps meets social media, but at the, the way that I like to think about it is Discord meets Steam meets One Inch, but for the metaverse. Cryptonauts. As we look around, more meetings and business stuff gets done online. More shopping gets done on Shopify and Amazon, and people have been choosing streaming platforms over traditional TV and movies. Even dating has mostly moved online, and it's one of the most important social aspects of humanity. I know I met my girlfriend there, <laughs> but uh, I won't tell you which app. Even though we're nowhere near the complete stage of the metaverse, the change it starts to imprint on our daily life is undeniable. But there is still a long way to go. Simply knowing where to begin can be overwhelming even for someone who spends countless hours in the metaverse, like me. When we hear the word metaverse, Most people think of an immersive and virtual connection of 3D worlds. Unfortunately, that is far from the case because today, the majority of virtual worlds are actually disconnected from one another. Finding friends, common interests, places to go in the metaverse can actually be very daunting and actually an overwhelming experience. Unlike internet search, where everything is accessible from a single entry point, the metaverse is a little bit different. So exploration currently requires users to jump from world to world, hoping just to jump into something very interesting. And if Web3 ecosystems continue to grow on this path, the metaverse might end up closer to several disconnected dystopias operated by different centralized entities. So it actually is important to build out the infrastructure to help navigate through this giant universe. A Google map version of the metaverse plus a social aspect, which provides us with all of the information about what, when, where, and something is happening in the metaverse. Luckily, I came across a project called Lighthouse. You can kind of guess what it is just from the name. Shining the light into different parts of the metaverse and fixing one of the biggest problems that we have in the space, which is lack of interoperability between different virtual worlds and lack of connections between these different entities. Through the interoperability that Lighthouse seeks to deliver, the team aims to bring fruition to the vision of an open metaverse. A decentralized yet united ecosystem of creators and users should be the ones claiming ownership of the spatial web. The Lighthouse team aims to deliver something very interesting in interoperability. So how do they make that happen? Lighthouse is building the Open Metaverse Navigation Engine. The portal launched in summer of 2022 during a closed beta, and now it's actually open since December of 2022. So you can search for friends, you can search for creators, you can search for experiences, events, uh, all of this stuff within the Web3 virtual world. So something else that they offer is that they have a portal where you can see trending activities, you can have a friends list, you can explore the metaverse where the NFTs are usable, and you can even follow the work of specific brands and creators. The vision is to support Web3's adoption by simplifying experience discovery across the open metaverse. Before this tool existed, it was actually really hard to go from one metaverse to another metaverse. It would be from one web browser page to another web browser or one program to another program. But imagine if you could put it all together into one layer and just hop metaverses. That would be pretty dope. With this set of tools, creators can customize their own gate with their own taste of the metaverse. So it's kind of like a chef where you can put salt or pepper, you can add the flavors that you want in your own personal profile. From that point, you know, fan and audiences can discover the experience as soon as they enter the portal, which helps the creators understand the traction of their space and also lay the foundation for monetizing the traffic they bring to the metaverse. 
Just look at how much money Mr. Beast makes from YouTube right now. I can kind of see the potential of becoming a metaverse creator. I should probably claim the handle first before somebody else takes it at Captain Crypto. Having said all that, let's chat with Coach Virus. Hey Coach, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, I got a question for you. As leaders in the MMA sport, how do you see the metaverse contributing or benefiting fighters and fans? For me, it's a lot of what existed in the past, except they can now sell digital land and it's kind of like open source. I can build my characters, I can give a concert into the metaverse. Metaverse differentiates itself. I'm sitting next to my favorite battle rappers. I could be, we could be under the sea having the battle rap. As the rapper is battling, the scenery can change according to what he's saying. It can give us a, a, an augmented experience. All right, second question. What vision do you have for Lighthouse in creating the discovery engine? I believe that Metaverse is gonna have, it's gonna have to bring a unique angle, why? Because when I'm in the Metaverse, when I'm wearing my headset, now you can give me an ambiance. Everybody could be in the first row in the best seat. You could sell that seat an infinite amount of times. So I'm not only watching it on YouTube, now I'm immersed. I could just put on my headset and I'll be there live with you. So it's a new way of doing something we've done in the past. Information is passing faster than ever. We've increased the speed of life. Do you think Joe is a better Metaverse entrepreneur or a Jiu Jitsu fighter? As a founder, what do you think his biggest strengths and weaknesses are as a fighter? Joe is the founder of Lighthouse. He's a judo black belt, a purple belt under me. I don't give belts for free. And I don't trust the man with button pushing unless he's been on the mat and I've choked him out a few times, okay? Let me tell you something. Joe is a tough guy who's a problem solver. And believe me, if you can solve real world problems, your button pushing problems are nothing compared to that. That's why I trust Joe. He's the number one founder. Zuckerberg, you're playing catch up. Finally, are you excited or frightened by the vision of a future where we are increasingly online more and more often to socialize? I could put a headset on my kid and teach him calculus. Kids are gonna be learning calculus at the age of 12 in the future, you'll see. You could be in the math problem. You're gonna have doctors graduating medical school probably at the age of 17, 18. They're inside the human body following the red blood cell. So what I'm trying to tell you is metaverse is gonna immerse. You wanna learn about the sharks? Here, let me go take you deep in the deep sea you'll live with the sharks for a few hours and you're gonna have an immerse you're gonna have a level of experience and knowledge that you can't put in the textbook if you're interested in contributing to the metaverse and becoming one of the first metaverse creators you should definitely check the links in the description i know i'm gonna try it and, you know who knows maybe i'll be mr crypto beast or something <laughs> um but go ahead and claim your handle on the lighthouse portal now and join me and maybe we'll do a get together the metaverse is here and it will be here. And with all of the innovation that Lighthouse brings to the space, it's really gonna intertwine both the virtual world and the real world together. Very interesting time to be alive. It's 2023, so yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Any questions, do let us know. If you guys wanna do a metaverse experience together, I'm down to play with a few people. Uh, let's, let's, let's have some fun. I mean, it's 2023, let's, let's go in and get some avatars going, you know what I mean? So um, I hope you guys like this video. Go ahead and click subscribe if you haven't already. Let us know your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you next time. Oh, 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 uh, don't forget to hodl secure crypto and may Satoshi and Vitalik be with you always.